Good morning dear students of class 7. I hope all of you are fine. Students, today we are going to start with the new topic of our writing section that is notice writing. After going through this video, you will study and learn the importance of notice writing. You will get familiar with the format of notice writing and you will be able to get your hands on practice notice writing on your own. So students, let's get started. A notice is written by an individual, a group, an organization or a body to draw the attention of the readers to a certain issue that needs immediate attention or active participation. All the required information must be given in a simple, concise and in an attractive manner so that people notice it. Moving on, students on your screen you can see various types of notices. In your school you might have noticed a student's notice board. All the important information or all the important notices or announcements are put on those notice boards. Then various uh, ads or publish, uh, various people publish notices in newspapers. Then we have legal notice for maths, etc. Now, why do we write a notice? A notice conveys information in a comprehensive manner. It is usually an advanced information about a happening, general instructions, an event, a function, an inauguration, a program, lost and found, and public notices. So, why do we write a notice? We write a notice to give some information and notices are usually written in advance. Now, what are the various themes? A notice covers a wide range of themes. Cultural announcement, academic announcement, sports announcement, announcements of births and deaths, celebrations and commercial activities, that is the inaugurations and sales, schedules and reschedules of transport, etc. Moving on, why should what should a notice contain? Always write a notice in a box. Students, this is very important. We always need to write a notice in a box. A headline or title, date of issue and signatory, details of the event, its time, date, venue and duration, detailed content, the organization or individuals responsible for the notice. Responsible person to contact for further details with mobile number, address, fax number, email address, etc. Brief, accurate and concrete information. Word limit of 50 words. Again students, this is very very important. Word limit of 50 words should be there in the notice writing. Style of the language depends on the person it addresses and the objectives of writing notice. Now we come to the format of the notice writing. First of all, we draw a box. Then in the topmost line, we write the name of the institution. We leave a line and write the word notice in block letters. That is N O T. I C E. Then in the next line we write the date. Again in the next line we write the heading and then we start with the body or the content. After writing the body we write the name and in the next line we write the designation of the person writing the notice if required. Now we come up to some sample notices. 
यू आर शिखा सिंह स्टडिंग इन न्यू एरा पब्लिक स्कूल डेली एज एन इंचार्ज ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लब ऑफ योर स्कूल ड्राफ्ट नोटिस कॉलिंग फॉर ऑडिशंस ऑफ अ प्ले टू सेलिब्रेट लिटरी वीक इन योर स्कूल सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू राइट नोटिस फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल न्यू एरा पब्लिक स्कूल देन वी राइट द वर्ड नोटिस इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी राइट द डेट दैट इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी राइट द हेडिंग गोल्डन ऑपरचुनिटी फॉर यंग एंड टैलेंटेड एक्टर्स leaving a line we start writing the main body the english club of our school proposes to stage samuel beckett's drama waiting for godot to celebrate its literary week in october 1st week young aspirants should submit their names to shikha singh on or before 23rd september for selection and audition when you and date will be intimated later leaving a line we write the name shikha singh next line we write the designation in charge english club new era school and we close the box so new era public school is the name of the institution then the word notice the next line we write the date then comes the heading after writing the heading leaving the line we write the body then leaving the line in the last we write the name and designation now coming up to sample number 2 you are nilab studying in mdvm school alwar your school has organized an inter school cricket match with dav school as the sports secretary of your school draft a notice for the students to gather in the ground to witness the match how do we start it first of all we make a box then we start writing the name of the institution and it is mdvm school alwar leaving a line we write the term notice n o t i c e in capital letters In the next line, we write the date, eight November twenty twenty. Again, in the next line, we write the heading, inter school cricket match. Then, leaving a line, we start the body. It is to be informed that an inter school cricket match has been organized between our school and DAV school. The match will be played on tenth November twenty twenty in our school ground from eleven a.m. onwards all students are requested to assemble in the school ground to witness the match and encourage the players then we leave a line and we write nilab in the next line we write the designation as sports secretary students please keep in mind that you need to write the notice within 50 words including all the necessary details coming to the quick recap notice is a written or printed information or new or an announcement notice should be catchy precise concrete and attractive it should start with the spectators attention if the spectators read the notice the purpose of notice is solved then and there only the objective of writing the notice should be clear enough so that it should solve the problem without creating confusion and chaos students i hope the topic is clear to you all thank you